Hi, I'm Anna and today I'm here with a very special guest, Sammy. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, as you just mentioned, um, my name is Sami. I'm the co-founder of um, Coracle. I came to Germany as a student in 2004. Uh, I studied here and then I worked for 10 plus years. And um, yeah, that's a very short background. Okay, so today I would like to talk about the situation, how it is for students in Germany to work besides their studies. Um, first of the basics, are they allowed to work when they study here in Germany? Yes, uh, the short answer is yes. Mm -hmm. All the international students who are studying in Germany for full time, mm -hmm. they are allowed to work okay. uh, part time. Okay. So they are allowed to work 20 hours a week mm -hmm. during their semester mm -hmm. and during the semester break they can work uh, completely. Okay, so did you work when you were a student here in Germany and what kind of work? Like. Yes, um, as all the other students, um, so I did also work during my um, semester or during my studies. Uh, but not in my first semester. I think from my second semester I started to work. Mm -hmm. And to answer your second question, I worked all, all, all crazy jobs. So it's um, yeah, I did too many okay. part-time jobs. Okay. Yeah, two different jobs, I would say. Okay, that sounds interesting. Can you go a little more into detail? Like what kind of jobs? Um, yes, um, I kind of like worked um, too many jobs during my studies, yeah. starting from um, cleaning uh, plates in a football stadium. And I worked with um, um, Burger King yeah. as a, in, the, in the kitchen, mm -hmm. of course, uh, because of lack of my German, I'm not allowed to oh, stay yeah. at the counter. Uh, that was my early days. Mm -hmm. And um, I was also um, working as a snow cleaner. Mm -hmm. So during the winter time, you need to go and early uh, in the morning clean the snows in the pedestrian crossings. That's so interesting. That's, like um, you did it all, basically. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, that's one of the, the most uh, memorable jobs, I would mm -hmm. say, from the hard jobs yeah. side and uh, then I was also working um, as a part-time student um, for Philips mm -hmm. that was more in line with what I was studying. Yeah. Okay so as I can like tell from that a bit is that you don't really need German to find a job here as a student or? Yeah to find any job so you don't need German. If you're not picky you can basically. Without. Exactly just for the survival you are uh, okay. you are able to find a job without knowing German. I think um, right now uh, the delivery jobs are quite, um, you know, quite diverse. It's also options, a lot of options available mm -hmm. there. And if someone is not really finding any jobs that are fitting for their technical skills, then mm -hmm. I think these jobs doesn't really mm -hmm. require German. But I would highly encourage students to, to learn German so yeah. they can already gain some experience in uh, proper jobs, yeah. not in the... But, jobs. but would you say like from a lot of my international friends they are for example also saying that if you get a job you it's easier to pick up the language because like you're surrounded for example if you work in a restaurant you maybe even if you're just washing the dishes you're surrounded by the language and it helps you to just pick up the language mm. do you have like experiences like made this experience as well or mm, um, it could be um, true what you said mm. but at least from my experience um, all the the jobs where German was not required, like um, I was I was like you know uh, for example in Burger King, mm -hmm. I was quite occupied in the kitchen packing okay. my burgers. So, so not, I learned no learning German, uh, <laughs> yeah. not really. And also the, the the snow killing cleaning part is more like the work yeah. is for your hands mm -hmm. and listening to the music. Okay. So it, I did pick few words I would mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. but it didn't really help me. Um, uh, I don't know, like improve my German, let's say. Okay. But you also mentioned Philips before, so that was more of a field-related job, right, was it? Um, y yes, not directly. Mm -hmm. I was studying um, information and communication mm -hmm. systems, so it's more like you know, wireless um, communications. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I, my, my, my uh, part-time work with Philips, um, I was doing some database-related stuff, because usually as a work student, um, you don't really go much mm -hmm. deeper, um, so you start with smaller things. I, that's how I also mm -hmm. started. But um, my time with Philips helped me to gain an internship mm -hmm. with Philips. Mm -hmm. So that was purely into okay. my, you know, wireless security and yeah. stuff like that. And I picked my thesis also from Philips. Okay. So it kind of helped me. Basically, my entry as a part-time student helped me. Yeah. So you would say it's like recommended to like look if you can for something field related, especially if you want to find a job after your studies here, right? Yes, this definitely helps mm -hmm. not only um, in terms of finding a job, but it also helps in 
the secondary benefits like what you said uh, is learning the German. Mm -hmm. For example, my manager was like German. He speaks English, but he was very picky that he was insisting to talk in German okay. because he want me to also learn German. Which but really, yeah, it's helped me to learn. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, you are also exposing yourself for the German way of working, mm -hmm. you know, the German work culture. You yeah. know? So Philips was a bit international, but still, mm -hmm. as a student, that helped me to understand how you know the corporate life okay. here in Germany because yeah. compared to India it's completely different yeah, I can imagine. so these these things cumulatively prepare you mm -hmm. for the jobs so I would say yes yeah and now that you're with Coracle in the position like from the other perspective basically to take international students that can work for you what would you say you pay special attention to like when somebody applies at Coracle um, it's a good question um, so we do have international students who also work with us um, part-time doing internships. Um, we look for a few things. Mm -hmm. So it also depends on the role. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the role is very um, skill-based. So in that case, we will look for if the student has at least a basic um, knowledge mm -hmm. or you know basic experience from that. But besides that, um, we look for the flexibility. Mm -hmm. You know that's very important because for a student. There is no fixed work that we will give you know, on, a, on a monthly basis. So sometimes the work changes a bit. So one thing I personally look for and I always give attention to is uh, to see if the student have like uh, intention and interest to learn new things. Mm -hmm. That also includes um, new tools, new skills, and also to integrate with an international team mm -hmm. because Coracle is very international. Mm -hmm. So we have like very few Germans in the team. Mm -hmm. So that I always uh, look for if the student is open for okay. cultural experience. Yeah. Okay, so what would you say when a student should start looking for a job? Which is, what is like realistic from the workload, also from the studies? Mm -hmm. So it's also a very good question. Mm, and um, also a lot of students um, ask this question they even start thinking about the part-time jobs even before applying for German universities um, so I, I used to get questions when I'm in any webinars mm -hmm. people ask hey how much can I earn as a student mm -hmm. um, can I work from the day one yeah. technically it's possible because your visa allows you to start working but I personally recommend I've been keep recommending this um, since a few years is take things a bit slow mm -hmm. Because um, so you have a blocked account anyway, so to you know to help you living in the initial months, um, you are very for a student. I would say um, you are very new to the country, new to the education system. So that might be a bit different from from what they used to in their home country, mm -hmm. and the weather could be extremely harsh. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things are playing at the same time, mm -hmm. and it's emotionally a bit also might not be in their high mood because living I mean family and mm -hmm. so on and so on plus the education, like the lectures and the loads, it's completely new. And um, considering all these, I always recommend take things, uh, settle down a bit. Mm -hmm. So usually the first semester is a good time mm -hmm. to get used to the lot of things. Also um, go out and then make some friends, expose mm -hmm. yourself course. to Germany, uh, the culture and stuff like that. And uh, from the second semester, I think you are also mentally and also physically fit Mm -hmm. to deal with the new role of going out and working and earning money. Okay, and let's say then you're, you're ready and say, okay, I want a job now. Do you, like, is it easy to find a job as an international student here? Like, how do you proceed in Germany? How do you find a job? It's, um, as we just mentioned or discussed, mm -hmm. um, it's easy to find a job. I mean... Depend on what kind of job. Exactly. I learned that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So for the survival um, jobs like delivery and a restaurant mm -hmm. and so on, it's not that hard mm -hmm. because you have your friends or seniors who are doing it mm -hmm. so they might help you you know uh, when there is an opening coming that's up. why you should make friends first and then look for a job <laughs> yes that's a very good point um, the more the network yes uh, the better uh, it is uh, the bigger the better is true in this mm -hmm. case <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to um, finding a job in a company as a as a VAC student um, so usually you can check out the, the regular, the classical um, places like you can check out the notice board at the university. Mm -hmm. Still, um, there are companies hanging out the printed uh, mm -hmm. job of um, advertisements there. And um, every university, they have uh, the digital Stellenwerk, mm -hmm. so um, job portal. Um, so you can check out there. And um, even in eBay, um, some companies also publishing jobs yeah. because it's free to publish oh. something there. Yeah. So you will also find something there. Um, it's the eBay client Anzeigen. Yeah, you find everything there. I found my apartment there, actually. <laughs> yeah, so um, so you find basically everything, everything there. 
and um, of course um, you can also reach out to the companies uh, that, that it's related to your field or if yeah. you find it's interesting then um, it doesn't hurt so mm -hmm. you can also approach them and um, yeah mm -hmm. you just need to be ready to not get any response right away yeah. uh, but then keep trying and I see lots of students are getting it but that's also same actually for me me as a German applying here like you get a lot of like you have to send out a lot of like applications and expect not getting a response mm. Anna you also worked in a restaurant right yes a few actually okay um, so maybe at this point it's also good to mention um, just um, um, philosophical mm -hmm. thing here um, I see a lot of students they also feel a bit um, you know awkward or they're not comfortable okay. um, finding jobs in mm -hmm. restaurants cleaning things mm -hmm. and stuff like that um, as I mentioned it is important to go and find a job that matches the you know the studies and the skills but if survival becomes a question mm -hmm. and you need to do it um, you don't need to have this social taboo might be no. existing in your home country um, it is it is okay a lot of students are doing yeah. it and everyone is pretty much is doing one or other thing to earn something yeah all of my friends actually if I'm thinking about it now everybody of us has a side hustle and I think it's not something to like it's not a taboo or anything Exactly. Okay, so thanks, Themi, for the insights, tips and tricks. That was really interesting. And if you guys got any more questions or any tips we maybe forgot to mention here, please write them in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe to not miss a single video anymore. And yeah, thanks, Themi. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, you, <laughs> you did your job. Mm. Do you know what we're talking about today? So. Not ours, we're the parents. <laughs>